Today, I'm making the sixth recipe from Dessert Person, mascarpone cake with red wine prunes. I'm skipping recipe five because it's not all season. Also, we've graduated from level one very easy recipes. This one is rated level two easy and is all season. Because it contains mascarpone, this is not dairy free. It should take an hour, 45 minutes. Let's get started. First, we'll start with the red wine prunes. Here's all the ingredients you need. 227 grams pitted prunes. 355 grams light red wine. I'm using Pinot Noir. 50 grams sugar. Pinch of kosher salt. Two three inch cinnamon sticks. One whole star anise. And not pictured, 113 grams of water. In a small saucepan, pour in all the ingredients for the red wine prunes. Set it to medium heat and bring to a simmer. Then, reduce the heat to low and let it cook, stirring occasionally, until the wine reduces down to a thick syrup. The book says 40 to 50 minutes, but it actually took me a lot longer. I think my burner was on extra low. Once done, transfer the contents to a heatproof bowl and let it cool completely. If you want, you can make this a few days ahead and store in the fridge. Here's all the equipment you need for this recipe. A digital food scale. Small saucepan. Nine inch cake pan. Parchment paper. Hand mixer or whisk. Two large bowls. Rubber spatula. Offset spatula. Oven mitts. Toothpicks. And a cooling rack. And here's all the ingredients for the cake. Butter for the pan. 130 grams all-purpose flour. 3 quarter teaspoon baking powder. 3 quarter teaspoon kosher salt. 1 large egg at room temperature. 2 large egg yolks at room temperature. 200 grams sugar. 113 grams mascarpone at room temperature, plus more for serving later. 57 grams melted and cooled butter. 2 teaspoons vanilla extract and two teaspoons lemon zest. Place a rack in the center position and preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Time to prepare the pan. Butter the inside of the pan. Cut out a round of parchment paper and butter that too before placing it into the pan. Set it aside. In a large bowl, pour in the flour, baking powder, and kosher salt. Whisk and set it aside. In the other bowl, pour in the egg, egg yolks, and sugar, and whisk until the mixture becomes thick and pale. Then add in the mascarpone, melted butter, vanilla extract, and lemon zest, and whisk again until nice and smooth. Using a rubber spatula, scrape the wet mixture into the bowl with the dry ingredients. Whisk until you have a smooth, homogeneous batter. Scrape the batter into the prepared cake pan and then smooth it out. If the batter seems thin, that's okay. Grab your red wine prune mixture. I took an added step of separating my prunes from the syrup and cutting them in half. Using a spoon, scoop out the prunes and dot them across your batter. Try to avoid getting any of the wine syrup in there. Then set your cake in the oven and bake for 45 to 60 minutes. When doing the toothpick test, it'll come out kind of wet, but mostly clean. The top of the cake should be firm and golden brown. Let the cake cool completely in the pan. Then, using the offset spatula, cut down on the inner edges. Invert it onto a wire rack, remove the parchment paper if it's stuck on, and then invert it again onto a serving plate. Time to test. Make sure you have the extra mascarpone and red wine syrup handy before slicing. Drizzle with the red wine syrup and top with some mascarpone. The mascarpone makes it very creamy without being too heavy and the prunes give it some added sweetness. To me, it was lighter than a cheesecake. You can really taste the lemon zest in here too. It looks pretty fancy, but it was so easy to make. Bon appétit! Another recipe done. This one was my favorite so far, and it was my first time using mascarpone. What do you guys think? 
Did you make this recipe? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll be back next time with another recipe from Dessert Person.